a short presentation entitled Weeds and Why We Like Them. Eh, who we kidding? Weeds are good at one thing, though. They can derail the work you set out to accomplish for your customers. Who are these anti-turf terrors? There are seven, count them, seven weeds that are prevalent in Central Florida regions. They like to set up shop in sunny areas, but will grow anywhere. Devils. Let's look at what's needed when you are identifying weeds. An important step in the battle to mitigating these weeds is to know what you're combating before applying a control product. These are some telling characteristics you will want to know to diagnose common weeds. Chickweed grows low to the ground and is stretched in appearance. The fruit is green in color, oval in shape, and has tiny hairs at the base of the seed bulb or at the stem. Chickweed leaves are medium green, have a sharp tip at the end, and are smooth in texture. Chickweed flowers are dainty star shapes with white petals. For post-emergent treatment, look to Atrazine 4L, Avenue South, Celsius, Dismiss NXT, Lesco Mansion, and Vexus. Then there's the common and white mouth dayflower. The flowers here fade the day they open. They are similar in appearance, having two blue flower petals, yellow pistils, and are erect. The variation is that the white mouth has one white flower petal at the base of the two blue flower petals, creating a clover pattern. When they grow, then you go to Atrazine 4L, Avenue South, Celsius, Dismiss NXT, Lesco Mansion, and Vexus for post-emergent treatment. Not only is doveweed improper, it's an imposter. While it looks similar to St. Augustine grass, doveweed's texture is rubbery, shiny, and attached to creeping stems. The weed will flower in three tiny purple or blue buds. How do you down the doveweed? The best post-emergent treatment is a choice of Atrazine 4L, Avenue South, Celsius, Dismiss NXT, Lesco Mansion, and Vexus. It's no wonder these weeds have the word nuts in them. That's what they'll drive you. Yellow and purple nuts edge have long triangular stems with elongated leaves. These leaves often appear in groups of three. Flowers cluster from a single stem in a seed-like grouping. Yellow and purple nuts edges have flowers of corresponding color. Nuts edges have runners that develop tubers underground to reproduce. Vexus gives you edges on the sedges. Buttonweed leaves are elongated and alternates from other leaves on the stems. The plant has a hair-like texture where the leaf meets the stem and is thick and rough in appearance around the edges. The color of the leaf is green at the tip and decreases in intensity as it approaches the stem. Buttonweed flowers have four white petals and may have a pink hue in the center. You'll find Atrazine 4L, Avenue South, Celsius, Dismiss NXT, Lesco Mansion, and Vexus to be most effective on budding out buttonweed. Clover is trifoliate. A what? A trifoliate is one that has three leaves per stem arranged in a V-shape. The type of clover is determined by the flower color. White flowers appear on white clover, yellow on field clover, and red on crimson clover. To get over the clover, you'll find Atrazine 4L Avenue South, Celsius, Dismiss NXT, Lesco Mansion, and Vexus do the trick nicely. Oxalis foliage is erect and grows in clusters. Its leaves are green, smooth, and heart-shaped, but not in a cute, cuddly way. And not to be forgotten, Oxalis blooms half-inch flowers featuring five brilliant yellow petals. Nothing breaks Oxalis's heart more than Atrazine 4L, Avenue South, Celsius, Dismiss NXT, Lesco Mansion, and Vexus. Or just prevent Oxalis with Lesco Dimension. We know the weeds. We know what to use for post-emergence on the weeds. Now, we want to know how to prevent the weeds. Those are our needs regarding the weeds. The key to preventing weeds is to establish and maintain proper turf health. What's this include? Number one, irrigation. The most important watering factor is to not water in the middle of the day or late at night. Schedule irrigation to occur in the early morning hours. This ensures the turf maximizes and stores the moisture while giving it time to dry before humidity settles on the blades in the afternoon. Number two, height, frequency, and quality of cut. The most common type of grass in Florida is St. Augustine and it should always be cut to a 3.5 to 4 inch height. Also critical is the use of sharp blades to help ensure the desired cut height is achieved. And number three, fertility. Get an idea of what fertilizers have been previously applied before you apply any product. Compare this information with the recommended products on the Lesco agronomic turf calendars for your area. 
Be aware of local blackout laws before applying. A healthy turf program should include a pre-emergent and a routine maintenance plan to preemptively treat known weeds before germination can occur. Effective options include Lesco Stonewall and Lesco Dimension. If you're selecting a post-emergent, it's best to diagnose the weed first so you can correct the growing program to prevent it from returning. Note the classification of the herbicide, pre versus post-emergent, as it will affect application timing recommendation. Products should be used in accordance with the manufacturer's label instructions and target weeds specified. For more advice on bringing weeds to their knees, agronomic tips, details, and experience, consult an associate at your local Site 1 branch or visit site1.com learn.